its adoption has been um, f spectacular, phenomenal, and it is currently being used in powering some of the biggest clouds in the world. OpenStack, of course, is relatively new technology. It's, uh, uh, it's been around for a few years. Um, it's relatively new in that sense, but because of the speed of which it's been adopted, because of the, uh, the growth in, the rapid growth in community, um, and the support that it's had from big players like, uh, uh, you know, people like IBM, people like Rackspace, um, lots of people within this space have been actively working and contributing to um, the OpenStack uh, technology. Um, it means that a great many companies are already deploying this technology in production today and running their business on it. So it's, if you like, it's, it's a great success story for open source technology. It's been developed uh, very quickly. It's gained a huge amount of support very quickly. Uh, and it's moved from uh, uh, quite early stages into production quality very, very quickly too. Ubuntu has grown up through um, really uh, being a developer-led technology. It's, uh, it's an adoption-led technology. People, developers, technical people will choose it because it uh, solves their problem very easily and very cost effectively. I think the adoption cycle of any software product uh, is always driven by the same rule. You have a set of early adopters which are taking the risk in order to disrupt a market and you've got a bunch of followers that will take whatever solution seems to be the most uh, reliable out of all uh, uh, that uh, the early adopter have tried. Um, that means that we do see a bunch of enterprises which are in a position in the market where they feel the need to disrupt their market, starting to adopt OpenStack in order to provoke that disruption. OpenStack follows the same uh, agile process Ubuntu follows in terms of development. That means that every six months we get together propose new ideas, sort them out, see what's feasible in the next six months or not, and go ahead and develop them for the next six months. I think the general tendency is toward even better goodness in networking. Right now we cover networking up to layer three, maybe we'll go up to layer seven, and better goodness into storage management. Um, that's the main two directions that I see. At the same time, there could be additional tools that could be built on top of the fabric that will make it simpler to do management of uh, instances running in the cloud, like for example, um, tools to handle um, failover or load balancing. There's, there's a lot to do in OpenStack. OpenStack, as it stands right now, is less of a product than a toolkit. It is a very well-defined way of creating your own cloud, but you may tailor it completely differently than the next person the person next to you that may define to choose to use a different networking setup. They may choose to use a different storage setup. I think as, as far as Open, OpenStack evolves, we'll see some core features come in that are missing as far as uh, organizational adoption um, regarding both uh, administration capabilities, metering capabilities, um, and even high availability capabilities.